Hello, Mighty Companions. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm here to do A Course in Miracles Lesson 298. A Course in Miracles Lesson 298, uh, which is, I love you, Father, and I love your Son. I love you, God, and I love your creation. You love God, and you love God's creation. You love God, you love your Creator, and you love your Creator's creation. You love your Creator, and you love your Creator's creation. Your gratitude permits your love to be accepted without fear. Do you know that your gratitude permits your love to be accepted without fear? Your love to be accepted without fear. And thus, are you restored to your reality at last? Do you know that it's time for you to be restored to your reality at last? Do you know that all that intruded on your holy sight, forgiveness takes away? So, so correct perception takes away Everything that intrudes upon your loving sight. Correct perception takes everything away that keeps you from having a loving sight. Correct perception, which is forgiveness, takes everything away that keeps you from having a loving sight. And you draw near the end of senseless journeys, mad careers, and artificial values. You come into the end of journeys that make no sense. You come in the, to the ending of careers that are insane, that don't give you satisfaction. And you come in to an end of values that are artificial. Isn't, isn't that great? Do you know that you accept instead what God establishes as yours? That you're accepting instead what love establishes as yours? Sure that in that alone, you will be saved in only accepting what God gives you, what love gives you. Sure that you go through fear to meet your love. You're going through fear to meet your love. You are going through fear to meet your love. Do you know that you are going through fear to meet your love? You are going through fear to meet your love. What would it take for your love to show up? What would it take for you to go through fear to meet your love? Father, I come to you today. So that means you're saying, God, you come to God today. Because you would not follow any way but the way of God. So you you don't want to follow any way but the way of love now. You don't want to follow any way but the way of truth now. Do you know that your creator is beside you? God is beside you. God is beside you. Love is beside you. Do you know that your creator is beside you? That feels so good. Certain is God's way. God's way is certain. God's way is certain. Your creator's way is certain. Your creator's way is certain. Your creator's way is certain. And you are grateful for God's healing gifts of certain sanctuary. You are grateful for God's healing gifts of certain sanctuary. Aren't you grateful for, for love's healing gifts of sanctuary? and escape from everything that would obscure your love for God, your creator, and God's creation. Aren't you glad? Aren't you grateful for the certain sanctuary that God in love gives you? Aren't you glad uh, for the escape from everything that hides the love of God from you? Are you willing to have everything leave your life that has the love of God, the love of life, the love of the universe? Don't you deserve the love of the universe? Wouldn't you Want anything that would block your awareness of the love of the universe released from you? So your lesson today is, I love you, Father, and I love your Son. I love you, Creator, and I love your creation. I love you, Creator. I love you, my Creator, and I love your creation. I love you, my Creator, and I love your creation. The thought for today is, I love you, Father, and I love your Son. I love you, Father, and I love your Son. I love you, Father, and I love your Son. So what you want to do is say this. You love your Creator, and you love its creation. You love your Creator, and you love its creation. You love your Creator, and you love its creation. Don't you love your Creator and love its creation? Don't you love your Creator and love its creation? Today is the day that you that you become willing. Wouldn't you become willing to love your Creator today? Wouldn't you be willing to love your Creator's creation today? That's the same as saying, I love you, Father, and I love your Son. You love your Father, and you love His Son. 
You love your father and you love his son means you love your creator and you love its creation. You love God's creation. You love love's creation. This is Earl Raj Purdy. Check me out at EarlPurdy.com. Check out my classes, my videos. And do you know that it's time to let peace extend from my mind and my heart to yours? Hello, this is Earl Rise Purdy again, and I'm doing What is the World? What is the Real 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 world? Do you know that the real world is a symbol like the rest of what perception offers because everything perception offers is a symbol? Yet the real world stands for the opposite of the world you made. The real world stands for the opposite of the world you made. The real world stands for the opposite of the world you made. What that means is that usually the world is seen through eyes of fear. And so the world brings witnesses of terror to a person's mind. The real world cannot be perceived. You cannot see the real world. You cannot see the world of love. You cannot see the real world except through eyes forgiveness blesses. And we've all already learned that forgiveness is correct perception. So you can't see a real world of love unless you're looking through eyes that have been blessed by correct perception. So a world that is seen through eyes that are seen correctly, see a world where terror is impossible and witnesses to fear cannot be found. So when you actually see it correctly, when you actually see it through your real man, your loving man, you will be able to tell because you will be in a world that is impossible to be terrified. You, it would be a world that it's impossible to be terrified. Check this out, mighty companion. And, and, and witnesses to fear cannot be found. So when you're in the real world, you don't see in the witnesses to fear. Do you know that the real world holds a counterpart for each unhappy thought reflected in your world? Which means the real world holds a sure correction for the sights of fear and sounds of battle which your world contains. The, the real world gives a sure correction for the sights of fear and the sounds of battle which your world contains. Do you know that the real world shows a world seen through quiet eyes and quiet eyes uh, uh, come from a mind at peace so when you're using and seeing the real world, when you're seeing the real world you're seeing a different world you're seeing a world through quiet eyes you're seeing a world through a mind at peace in other words there's nothing but rest when you're seeing through the real world you just feel peace. when you're seeing through your real eyes when you're seeing correctly you don't see anything but peace there's nothing but rest there that means when you're seeing correctly, when you when you finally achieve the state of mind that the Course in Miracles is teaching, there are no cries of pain. You don't hear about pain. There are no sorrows. For nothing in the real world remains outside forgiveness. So nothing in the real world remains outside of correct perception. And the Course in Miracles defines correct perception and forgiveness is the same thing. And when you're in the real world, the sights are gentle. So you're seeing gentle sights when you're seeing the real world. In other words, do you know that only happy sights and sounds can reach the mind that has forgiven itself, the mind that has that is seeing itself correctly? When you when your mind is seeing itself correctly, the only thing that can reach you is happy sights and happy sounds. So that's how you can tell when you're actually seeing correctly. When you actually see it correctly, the only thing that can reach your perception is happy sights and sounds. So what need has such a man that is seen with love? What need has such a man for thoughts of death, thoughts of attack, thoughts of murder? What can a loving man perceive surrounding it but safety, love, and joy? What can a man that is perceiving correctly perceive that it would choose to be condemned? And what is there that it would judge against? The world that a forgiving man sees, the world that a correctly perceiving man sees, the, the world that a healed man sees, arises 
from a mind at peace within itself. So the loving, peaceful world that we keep hearing about, that world that's full of love and safety and joy, and we're not dealing with all the stuff that we're dealing with here sometimes that seems to call us, cause us fear. We're not going to see that self until we're perceiving correctly. So when you're perceiving correctly, you you have a mind at peace within itself, and then that mind that's at peace within itself then sees this loving world, this peaceful world, this abundant world. So no danger lurks in anything that a correctly perceiving mind sees. For the real world is kind, and only kindness does it look upon. No danger lurks in anything it sees, for it is kind, and only kindness does the mind that has forgiven itself look upon. Are you aware? Are you aware that the real world is is a symbol? That the real world is the symbol that the dream of being sinful and the dream of being guilty is over. In other words, you are the child of God and you are no longer asleep. You can tell when you are no longer asleep because you will be in that totally safe world. And your eyes will be open. And do you know that your waking eyes will perceive the sure reflection of God's love. When you're seeing correctly, all you see is a reflection of the love of the universe. The certain promise that you are redeemed. You just see the certain promise that you are healed, that you are whole, that you are innocent. When you see the real world that there's only total love and safety in, it signifies the end of time because its perception, the perception of a really, truly safe, loving world makes time purposeless because the purpose of time is to learn how to see correctly. So when you're finally doing it, time has no more purpose. Are you aware that the Holy Spirit, your loving right mind, that voice for God in you has no need of time when time has served God's purpose. There is no need for time after time has served the Holy Spirit's purpose. Now the Holy Spirit, your loving right mind, your true self, your voice for God waits. But that one instant more, you waiting just that one instant more for God to take God's final step and time has disappeared taking perception with it as it goes and leaving but the truth to be itself. It's time for the truth to be itself. It's time for that good stuff we've been reading and hearing about and studying to be itself. That instant where love is the only thing we experience and safety is the only thing we experience, that is our goal. Because a an instant of total peace and a totally quiet, peaceful mind, um, that contains the memory of God. That contains the memory of what created you. A peaceful, instant, loving, instant, and instant that we're not tripping about something. That instant contains the memory of God. And as we look upon a world forgiven, as we look upon a world that we're finally looking at correctly and in peace, it is the Holy Spirit who calls to us and comes to take us home. It is God that calls to us and comes to us to take us home, reminding us of our identity, which our own forgiveness, our own correct perception has restored to us. Your correct perception restores your true identity as an unbelievably loving being to you. So ask yourself, what is the world? What is the real world? Not the world of fear, not the world of separation, not the world that, that we are afraid of things in. Not the world that it looks like we could be hurt and sometimes have some joyful, pleasurable experiences that seem like they might not last. So even the pleasurable experiences become a source of fear because we become afraid we might lose that pleasurable experience. That's not the real world. The real world, the real world is a world that you're looking at not through your ego, not through your fear, not through your sense of separation. So the thought is, what is the real world? world. Hmm.